Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and I was just messing around in my Hero 1 Justice 2 Remix, and oh my lord, is Endeavor some fun in, in this version of the game? Holy dooly. Like, let me just show you some of his combos. Like, he can do things like this now. Like, what? That is so cool. That is was a single dash cancel, almost 10,000. Sometimes you can get about 11,000 if you end with a tilt quad one and off to self and oh my god, what? That's crazy. And wait, also let me show you. You can get some interesting combos off of his charged red attack. He charges up his fireball. So then you do that and then you run up and do your attack string again. And then just do this. Keep in mind, this was zero dash cancels and it's gonna be about 11,000 damage just for a single red attack and zero dash cancels and that's thanks to his charged fireball that he has in this so um yeah so let's just talk about what's different about him because clearly he's far more enjoyable to, enjoyable to play in this version than he is in the vanilla game so what is actually different so his regular attack string has a different bit of a different pop-up which basically just means he can connect like everything after it like he connects his quirk 2, his tilt quirk 2, he can do basically everything after it except for his quirk 1 and on the note of connecting things, he can also connect his Tilt Quark 2 into like any of his other Quark buttons, except for his Quark 1. So we can do like Tilt Quark 2 into Tilt Quark 1, or Tilt Quark 2 into Quark 2 for just a ton of fire, like, and a ton of damage. Like, even just this on its own after an attack string, like from a yellow attack. Like, that's a big chunk of damage just for a bunch of things that link into each other. Like, that's crazy. And also, you may have noticed his Tilt Quark 2. You can actually get combos off of it now by dash cancelling it, because the opponent has a bit of a different hit reaction. So you can use that in combos now as well, in order to get some more damage off to things. I can dash cancel after it to get combos super easily. And I can also use it to end combos. I could have done an extra dash cancel there if I wanted to. It's just a really useful tool for damage and for in combos now. Which makes sense, because it wasn't really useful for much else before. So that's really cool. Um... And another, uh, one of the bigger changes was to his fireball. So this is Quark 1 fireball, and as you can see, he only throws out one fireball now. And then it divides into two, and then they do the big swerve round. So it's still really good, like, on its own. Like, because it's still got that massive space control with, like, the curving fireballs and stuff. And yes, you can only have one at the screen at a time. If you try and do another one, it will replace them. But this fireball can actually be charged. So if I just do it once and then hold down for one charge, then he will actually do the regular one that we have in the normal game. He throws out the three fireballs and they all curve around. But if you hold it down for the second charge, he actually only throws out one fireball, but it's a much bigger fireball. And you can actually get combos up with it. And they are pretty juicy combos if you land them. Like, I messed up that combo there and accidentally did the Tilt Quirk 1 a little bit late, but as you can see there, that was already like 12,000 damage nearly. Just for landing a fireball that can combo. And what's also cool about this is, as I showed before, if you're in an, a hit, like a, um, a move that has a lot of, like, a lot of animation, you can hold, you can charge it during the, like, the red attack. So you can actually get it charged during a combo. So like, say if I go to go for a red attack, I can be holding down the button and ready to do it in my combo. Oops, he missed. Yeah, that doesn't work too consistently, but let me try again. Okay, there we go. And then I can go for this. And like, what? 11,000 damage off of a red attack. Zero meter, just because I charged up my fireball. It's so cool. So, yeah, not only is this charged fireball, you know, it's obviously could be good for zoning, because, you know, it's a slow-moving fireball, you can hide behind it, and you can also get combos off of it. But you can also... Holy, what the hell was that? <laughs> but um, if you charge it up, you can't just use it in your combos. You know, if I have it charged up for my zoning and stuff, and I want to come in, if I decide I want to do some combos, I can do a lot cooler stuff. So two guaranteed ways you can do it is either off of the first hit off of your... Um, attack string on the first two hits off of here. But there are some other ways that are a bit like less guaranteed, like you can do it after the yellow attack, but that's not too consistent. But if you really want to get the damage, you know, just do two hits into it. That works consistently. You can go for a red attack. You can go in for stuff like this. And even this is going to be about 10,000 damage. Zero meter, zero dash cancels, just for that. And I could have added a dash cancel if I wanted to, and it would have been like about 11,000 again, or like probably a bit higher, up to 12,000. 
because of the addition to the combo, but damn, that is just so cool. And obviously there's some other changes, you know, like um, like there's a slight like change to how the opponent goes flying from the tilt block one, they go flying a lot further. So as you can see, Bakugo is just like launching back there for such a long time, he's just flying. Which means it's a, you know, a very good wall spike tool, but it always was. You know, now it's just slightly better. And uh, so yeah, there was changes to this. That was obviously changed because, you know, now we can dash cancel it. Let me show you an example of some combos you can get if you want to use supports. And it's basically just the same stuff, except now you don't have to do dash cancel. So if I want to do something like this, I can do something like this. And get All Might to grab it into the ground. Oops, I have to be facing the wall to do that. But yeah, they're not going to be too much extra damage because they actually meter, meter blow really quickly if you use supports. But where the supports come in really handy is if you're doing a fast ultra combo. So I'll show an example with Aizawa. I can do something like this. I call out Aizawa and then do my plus ultra 1. Oh damn it, I thought I was close enough to the wall. But as you can see there, that's already 15,000 damage. So, uh, what? Okay, I'll try it again, and hopefully I don't drop it. Probably could have let that go for a little bit longer, but it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm just gonna make it a little bit simpler and not have to worry about the walls. Damn it. <laughs> It can be a little bit hard to time because they're kind of like high in the air. Damn it. <laughs> My goodness. Come on. Okay, there we go. And I'll just keep it simple and do something like that, but keep in mind, you can do the Tilt Quark 2 into the Quark 2. That was already 16,000 damage just for a single plus ultra. That's pretty crazy. And I could have gone for a bit of a longer combo there, but I uh, don't want to keep you guys here all day. I haven't practiced these combos for too long, but do know that you can get even more off of that. And as you saw, this combo can actually go into the, a wall splat if I do it like without Aizawa. The plus ultra one is very good for wall splats, obviously. So I can run up to the wall. Go for this. And, uh, I mean, yeah, maybe you don't even need to use Aizawa. If you're facing a wall, you're getting 16,000 damage. Guaranteed. No dash cancels, just a plus ultra. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> he is so much fun in this version. Uh, it makes him just so, so much more of a character where you actually, you know, can think about what you're doing. Like, even in his zoning, if not just, like, throwing out quirk ones into two quirk one and that stuff. Like, you can if you want, but, like, that's not the optimal way of playing. Like, you want to throw out some quirk ones, maybe charge and then do it the three viable version. And then while you're running around, maybe if you're running in, you can be charging up your, like, supercharged quirk one. So that when you come in and do a combo, you can get even more damage from it. Um, that wasn't an optimal combo at all, because I didn't do, like, a red attack or anything. But, like, he's just got so much more he can think about with the charging up and the better combos. He's just got so much more of a cooler game plan now. Might, might as well just do another plus ultra one. Let's see how much damage this does. <laughs> there we go. Two plus ultras, 20,000 damage. Um, what? That's pretty ridiculous. But, yeah. That's basically this version of Endeavor. He's crazy, he's fun, he's got good zoning, good combos, and he can actually think about what he's doing now and like choose to do interesting and smart stuff. So like, wait, I'm gonna try another combo and see if I can do something a bit more interesting. So if I do something like... Into the... Nope, okay, that doesn't work. Wait, let me just charge up my fireball again. Okay, I'll just quickly test this before I end the video. Like that, I like that could have been a bit more damage if I let things go for longer. But see, like there's just so much combo potential, so many different paths that he has. He can extend with supports and get easy wall splats. He has like the charging up projectile. He can just combo off of like anything super consistently now, like because he can cancel things into each other, like. Even if he does this, he can combo consistently if he does like something like that. 
Like, that's just off of a roll yellow attack that would have usually sent him flying. Like, he's just so much fun now. And, like, he can also, cons like, confirm off of his clock one fireball, because you, you can only dash cancel if it hits. So, you know, if you're just throwing out your fireball, you can mash the dash cancel button, and if it actually does end up hitting them, you'll dash cancel in and get a full combo. It's just really fun. And, yeah, I love this version of Endeavor. I'm definitely going to see if I can play some matches online, but, uh... Yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll definitely be doing some more videos of the other Remix characters. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!